and no uh, information was ever further given except for what the news media provides, which we can no longer 100% uh, uh, qualify as being the truth. Now, I'll give you a, a very good example. Under the conditions of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the number seven was also present. Under the conditions of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, the number seven was conditioned. Both these men, okay, were involved with making some very key but yet fundamental changes in our society that would threaten the hold that certain invisible powers have or had and continue to have on this planet, in this world, and more specifically here in the United States. Well, that that's that's a heavy duty. You know, that's a real heavy duty. And, and I I say when I look at history that Michael Jackson was phenomenal. Abraham Lincoln in his own aspect had a phenomena about him. John F. Kennedy had a phenomenon about him and the thing that really brings it all together here is that for me is that there seems to be such a pattern and I, 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 I have to almost scratch my brain cells to say okay where is this pattern coming from? Is it the pattern of the numbers? Is it the pattern of God, if you will, a Shiva, a Buddha, a Allah? Is it the pattern of some other invisible force here? You know, what, even going back to Michael Jackson, what, what was so charismatic from a numerological standpoint about Michael? What kind of hole did he have with just his, well, we talked about his his birthday, but his name and you know how was that interwoven, interwoven for him to affect people the way that he affected them in life? And you know I can see that even with his death, that a lot of people are going to be affected. Right. Well, I'm going to answer your question directly, but once again, I would like to just point out one thing concerning the actual day that he was born, which is the 29th. Whenever you have what we call in new numerology a two-digit birthday, as in the case with Michael, it's two digits, the two and the nine, mm -hmm. you subtract the higher digit minus the lesser digit. Nine, in this case, all right, minus two would equal seven, okay? Now, people have many concerns about Michael Jackson. I have already read certain feelings uh, on the internet, different blogs, different websites. As a person of, of great renown, Okay, Michael needed this protection because he has this number, six. And I'm going to get into it. Now, number seven, one of the more destructive tendencies of the number seven, one of the m more negative traits or aspects or attributes of the number seven, as I had pointed out before with two other notable figures, this assassination. Okay. Now, this may astound the unconscious mind, but people need to understand what's going on in our society right now. Michael Jackson was a notable figure of great promise. 
with Michael Jackson given the right tools, okay, having the right knowledge could in effect help to change humanity beginning right here in America and echoing further outside the shores of North America. Okay? Now, has he been assassinated? That's a question in the public's mind. And I don't think it's going to rest for a very, very long time. Now, of course, there's going to be all types of investigations that's going to occur. However, however, when you get right down to it, looking at the number of vibrations, there are indicators to assist us in knowing that there is indeed some impropriety with his death. So what you're saying then, I'm, I'm gleaning several things from what, what you just said. The numbers can tell you what is now. Right. Correct. And the possibility of things that can happen okay. down the road. In the future. And in the future. And that you can take numbers and look back at things and get a better understanding Correct. of what actually was going on. That's a that's a pretty heavy statement. That's a, a pretty heavy statement. It's a statement make. that I am more than willing to back up and support based on my 40 plus years of study of numerology. Well, you know, when you when you talk about the improprieties, I think, you know, everybody feels like and I I mean, I feel the same way. There are so many things that are in question. That's you know, great. from the doctor disappearing to the medication, you know, even talking about his being on all of these medications. Um, and, and then, you know, it's questionable whether or not Narcan, which helps to uh, reverse any type of central nervous system depressant, if that was actually available, uh, when all of this went down with him, with with the cardiologist, etc. So there, there seems to be a lot of things that are really in question. Now, what I'd like to ask you is, have you had a chance to really look at the numbers to help us get some idea as to how long it's going to take for things to come out and be brought forth as to the truth of everything that has happened? Well, I've done what's known as a chart of periodicity. A chart periodicity? Periodicity, a cycle of periodicity. And what you do is that you take a person's, the year that they were born, mm -hmm. okay? And you chart it out as I did here. There's several ways that you can do it. I did a more simplistic way Remember, even though it's simplistic, don't ever think that it's not profound, exact, and correct, okay? It doesn't have to be bogged down with a whole lot of technical data, okay? That's not how the ancestors, our ancestors set this up. They set this up so that you can access it, so that you can have knowledge for yourself, for your family, okay? Now, the, the breakdown that I saw, and I'm going to go right into it because I'm not going to labor on this. What I see is that the truth behind Michael Jackson's passing will be revealed in the year 2014. Now, that may appear to be a long way uh, from the present period, which is 2009, but remember, we're halfway through 2009 already. 2009 away already, coming up on 2010. So that's putting us, what, four, four years. years. So we're talking about a little more than four years. Now, the way that life is moving, 
the way that life is transitioning, okay, from one level to another. The four years, the four to four and a half years that I'm speaking about, it's going to move quickly, okay, because 